Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to bypass TPM and install Windows 11. The ways to do this have changed since Windows 11 was announced in June. And it, actually, this actually used to be called Bypass TPM 1.2. But it changed and Microsoft has made it official that this registry key should allow you to bypass TPM. So let's talk about this real, real quick. You can do this with our registry files or edit the registry. Editing the registry is pretty easy. However, please note our links here. Back up your registry and look for these links in the top right corner. There should be an I over here that you can click on. Or expand the video description and you'll see the links there. Back up your registry. See if your computer has a TPM chip and how to enable TPM in your BIOS. So if your computer is built in the last six or seven years, you probably have a TPM chip and you can probably enable it. Probably. That's the problem with this. A lot of probabilities and maybes. All right, let's do this. You can do the registry editor or you can do the file. So I'm gonna do it backwards from the guide and start with the files because I created these. These do all the work for you. Click right here, click download now, and you'll get two files. So you actually even the registry file is even called bypass TPM 1.2 because that's what it used to be. Because there's TPM 1.2, so you know, and there's TPM 2.0. All right. You'll double click the two files. That one right there will enable it. And that one there will restore you to default, which you probably won't need. And you just click yes, yes, okay, in order. Yes, yes, okay. And that's it. It'll be ready to roll for Windows 11. Now, if you want to edit the registry yourself, Let's take note of this right here. H key local machine system setup MO7. I'm going to copy and paste it and I'm going to do the Windows key plus R and I'm going to do R E G E D I T. Once you've got that in there, press enter or click on OK. Click on yes. I already have it in here, so I'm going to delete it, show you how to do it. So we'll clear that out and you press control V. For example, you're probably looking at this so we'll clear that out just like that press control v press enter you should be right here at mo setup now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new d word let me show you how to do that it's really easy even if you've never messed with a registry before if you back it up you'll be okay anyway but this is pretty easy to do we're going to right click on the mo setup word we're going to do new D word 32 bit value, it's almost always 32 bit value, even on a 64 bit system. Control V, and there it is. You can again type this in, just make sure you get the caps correct. Allow upgrades with unsupported, and get the TPM, get the CPU, make sure your caps are what they're supposed to be. That's why copying is a little easier. Now, there's only one last thing you got to do if you had to create the key, and I'll give you a little sneak preview. Here's your value data. You see the zero there? That needs to be a one. Not a problem. Let's double click on your new D word. And there's your value data of one. Go ahead and put that in there. Click OK. As you can see, now you have your value data as one. The MO setup. There's the word. It's just one simple change. You can always come back and uh, restore your registry. And as you saw me do earlier, because I had it in here, I just click delete. That's it. You just delete the one D word that you created. Piece of cake. Well, easy to do either way. I like to create the registry files. People like them. It just saves them the trouble. Uh, and I don't blame you. Some people don't want to go into registry. It's, it's like the unknown out there. So hopefully, I really hope down the road, Microsoft will automatically allow you to bypass this without needing, although I love to have you here, without needing our registry files or tutorials because there's just so many ways your computer is insecure and your phone and anything else that's on the internet, data breaches and everything else. If they really want people to install Windows 11, and honestly, I think Microsoft might be able to just hold out and wait a few years for people to upgrade their computers. But during the pandemic, a lot of people have dusted off their old laptops, and these are the people that can't go to Windows 11 because they dusted off their six-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old laptop to work remotely. So I think they're hoping they can just wait it out, but it's all guesswork. I don't know where my crystal ball is around here somewhere. I don't know. Hopefully they do away with this. At least Microsoft has made this official. And so that you know, not only is this official, but there were some rumors going around that Microsoft wouldn't update if you bypass it. I kind of suspected that they wouldn't do that. It's not their style. And sure enough, they've also confirmed that you will get Windows updates if you bypass TPM. So that's good to know too, so you don't have those concerns. And there you have it. 
as always, in the bottom right-hand corner over here somewhere, I don't know, there's a subscribe button. We'd appreciate that. Or give us a like, at least, if we helped you out. And we want to thank you, as always. See ya.